Hey, hey Kim, Emma, good how are to you? See you? Good to see you. Welcome to Running Brushy. So um, today we're going to go check out Inquiry Academy. Um, Inquiry Academy we started a year ago, um, well two years ago, in sixth grade piloting that program. Um, and really what we're looking at are the connections between content area with our sixth graders. We do have Inquiry Academy in sixth and seventh grade this year, but this morning we're just going to look at sixth grade and we'll go from there. If you're ready to go. Yeah, I'm excited to be at the brush today. Let's go. Awesome. Let's go. What was happening on our campus was we had a bunch of students who were disengaged with learning. And we kept talking as teachers, what do we do, what do we do, what do we do? The conversation never went with compliance. It went with how do we encourage students to be owners of their learning and develop their own learning. And the more we talked about it, the more we realized we had to change what we were doing in order to support them in their learning and in make learning meaningful for them. So it sounds like this class allows you to write what your passion is. How has that impacted you this year as a sixth grader? Well, it's impacted me because now I've unlocked a lot more types of writing. It's always been my passion. What is the island project? It has to be realistic, but you're making up your own island and you have to create different maps and tell us and then tell about your island using facts. Can you uh, give me an idea of what you're working on today? Yes ma'am, I would love to. So this is my physical features map and the name of this map is Shipwreck Bay. We're all going to be presenting different projects that we have learned throughout, I like just since the last celebration of learning. And they get to come see all of the students learning. So the students can bring assignments that they finished, assignments that are still in progress, they can bring their notebook, their computer, and it's basically like a show off of all the things that they've learned. And I think bringing the community into that to see it has gotten us so much more buy-in from our parents because they get to see all the learning that's happening. So you get to pick what you're passionate about and really dig deep into it and learn more about it, but on a math perspective. Yes, I, I love having the ability to be free with how we do our projects and not just being told uh, step one, step two, and having to be like teacher guided. We got to choose what we did because I'm not that good at drawing, so if it was like one of the things was animation and sometimes you have to like draw a character for animation, I'm not that good at that. But with Inquiry Academy, it's not like we have to do a basis thing. We can do whatever we want. There's this end of the unit project and it's basically about like you have to do some math, like make some graph. You got to do some science, like research about it. You got to use some social studies. You got to use ELA. And for like maybe a few weeks, you're making the project on anything you want, which really shows you can integrate math, science, really anything you want into anything. And kids are showing tons of growth in those in those graduate profile areas. They are critical and creative thinkers. They are collabor collaborators. They're problem solvers. They reflect on their work and think through things, make plans for future learning. Hey Jim, thanks for having me today at The Brush. It was really great to see all the student learning in action, but most importantly, I love seeing our educators be empowered to try something different. Thanks, Anna, and uh, you're exactly right. I'm so proud of these guys. They're actually the ones that came to came to me and said, let's try something different. And so um, they have, and they've, they're knocking it out of the park, and uh, just excited to see Inquiry Academy continue to grow. Well, I also wanted to add what I love most importantly about this visit is the amount of inclusivity that I'm seeing in the classroom. So thank you so much for giving every child a chance. Of course. Glad you could come. Go RBMS.